If you are having difficulties setting up the remote play feature or if you are having trouble using it, then this issue may lie in your mobile or in your console itself. And in this video, we'll help you fix these problems as fast as possible. So let's get started. Sometimes it might be the app that's causing the problem. So what we are going to do is check if your app is up to date. But if you are having issues even when your app is up to date, then let's uninstall it and install it again and your problem should be fixed. But if you are still having trouble setting up, then let's restart your console and clear its cache and this may solve it. To do that, hold down the power button of your console until it shuts down. Now we'll disconnect all the cables and wait for a few minutes. After that, plug in the cables again and boot up your console and then you can attempt the setup process and it should work. But if you are still having issues using remote play, then you can check if all your network requirements are met by going to settings and then devices and connections. Now tap remote features and select test remote play. It will take a bit of time to load all the results. Now after it's loaded, if you see any warning signs, then you need to fix them first. Your NAT type needs to be open. If your NAT type is moderate or strict, as you can see here, then you can fix your NAT by changing the alternate ports. And we also have video about NAT types, so you can also watch that. And then there's the network speed. It's recommended that your network's upload speed is around 4.8 megabits per second, and you can ensure a stable network by plugging in your console directly to your router using an ethernet cable. Also, you need to make sure that your controller is updated and that your console's power setting is set to sleep. Unfortunately, if you are still having problems, then resetting your console to factory default is proven to fix this issue. To do that, go to settings again, then system, select console info, then reset console. Just resetting the settings while keeping the games should be enough for this case, but if you can afford to wipe everything, go for it. Now the console will reboot and you just need to set up your console the usual way. After that, try setting up the remote play again and you should have no problem doing that. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you very soon.